This video is now brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Ooh, what's up people, Dobbs and Wolves right here and welcome to another day of pack openings and welcome to April. Yes, we are now in April and welcome to a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening today. Now, as you guys already know and already heard, and um, I've already done them already. We've already beat, we've beaten Kingdom Hearts. We've already done it. I cried. You've cried, I'm sure. We've enjoyed it. But now we are doing Resident Evil 2 remake live streaming. If you guys haven't have, haven't seen it yet, go and check out on the playlist. I've left a playlist on it. It's super funny. You get jump scares. You got me screaming and everything. It's been absolutely hell of a roller coaster. But any enough of all that. But I also like to ask, ask for you guys for any requests on games you want me to live stream um, on the PS4. Because there's a lot, a lot of games that are coming out soon and I really want to play a lot of them. But so anyhow, enough of all that. Check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport and Liverpool. And today, <clears throat> what are we opening first off of the, of the month? Because this year, this month, is not a month of pack openings again. I know, keep yourself calm, people. Very soon we'll be doing another month of pack openings. Maybe before I go on holiday. Maybe, we'll have to find out soon. But today we are opening, it's not a old, old set. But it's getting close to be old now. Which is Duelist Pack, Rivals of the Pharaoh. Now you may be thinking, why on earth do I still have these? Um, well, I had these around the Christmas time. Um, I had 20 packs, my mum's actually took 10 of them off me because she's doing a special advent calendar for, 2000, for 2019, this, this, for this year's Christmas. Um, she's planned, because if you've seen the new um, advent calendars that were for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, they, um, they're quite awesome. Um, because they have little tiny, they have good sized windows that you can actually put booster packs in. So she's took 10 of them off me. So she could put them in there and also she's going to go on the internet and find old, new, discounted, not discounted packs, random as ever and stick them inside the windows for next year's Christmas, which is awesome. So if you guys, if you guys are parents or you you guys have yourself parents, ask them if they could do that because that would be a good advent calendar for you guys for next year. But anyhow, let's stop jibber jabbering, 10 packs, the first edition, what am I hoping to get? I'm hoping to get at least... A probably two supers and one ultra. That's what I'm hoping to get. But it's hard to do these boots, these do this packs because now they're old. You don't know if they're gonna get weighed nowadays, but hell of it, we'll find that now. Cue the music, let's get started. Oh, it's been a while since I've opened up these do this packs for a while, so that's awesome. So we got Dark Necrophia, Silent Magician level 8, the Heliforma, Temple of Kings, and we got a Fiend Sanctuary. Not bad start for Rare. It's actually a really good Rare, to be honest. I've also been playing on the um, Nintendo... Oh, not no, on Nintendo. I do have the Nintendo Switch as well, but I've not been playing a lot of that for a while. I've been mainly sticking to um, Super Smash Bros. on that, on Ultimate, because I am waiting for the Joker to be released, thank God. Because Piranha Plant has been released now, but I'm not happy with him. I prefer him over things. So we got uh, Dragon Master Knight. And, ooh, Tribute Burial. Not had that card before, that's good to have as a new card. Never seen it. Um, so yeah, um, on the PS4, I mainly play a lot of that. 